The Sega Saturn had its fans and did release some hits in the States. You may have your favorites. You know, when I think of the Sega Saturn, I definitely think of Nights in the Dreams. I think of Virtua Fighter 2, awesome 2D fighting games, and classic shooters. There are countless imports that people seek out because it had some amazing games that were never released here in the States. I'm not talking about any of the classics today. I'm talking about the worst of the worst, bad Sega Saturn games. This is an ongoing series that I'm doing on my channel and I'm having a lot of fun. And so today I'm picking five of the worst Sega Saturn games, explaining why they're on the list and sharing these terrible games with you. You wanna sit back, relax. You may wanna grab some popcorn. Let's check it out. Here we go. Fighting games were all the buzz of the 90s, and every company was trying to find that next hit to compete with Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter II. Acclaim published Battle Monsters here in the States. How bad is it? Battle Monsters is a good idea with poor execution. The best way to describe it is kind of way the warrior across with Mortal Kombat. You have large characters, it's all digitized, what really kills this game is the terrible control. You have two attack buttons and two jump buttons. There are platforms on each level in which you can jump to and it just makes it a huge, confusing mess. It, it, you know, the camera jumps around and, and zooms in and out and it really just makes it frustrating to play. Probably of all the games that I show today, Something can be so bad it's good, and this is definitely in that category. I found myself wanting to play this game because it was so bad, and you might be in the same boat, but this truly is a terrible fighting game. You know, I like the premise of it. You know, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. Death Mask looks just like Frankenstein. It's, it's such a ripoff. And so some of the character designs are interesting, but you know, uh, the, the moves, you can get some of the moves off, but the control in general is just really broken. You can juggle enemies quite a bit. Playing the computer is pretty bad as the computer like hurts itself at times. It just, it's, just, it's just a jumbled mess, a monster disappointment. Speaking of disappointment, do you remember when they kept on making Crow movies after Brandon Lee died? There was a video game tie-in to the second movie, The Crow City of Angels, released on the Saturn, PlayStation, and Windows, identified as a beat-em-up adventure game. You're back from the dead, trying to take out various thugs in this game. You're greeted with kind of a, a terrible introduction where you can barely see things, and from here it doesn't get any better. First thing you'll notice in this game is that your character has tank controls. Yuck. You know, I know this was really popular in the 90s, but just does not age well whatsoever. Okay, I can deal with that. But then the combat is just as bad. Sluggish, you're often punching and kicking the air. You're not facing the right direction as you have to control your character and line him up with the enemies, which is frustrating and cumbersome and so as you progress in this game there are various weapons you can pick up and locations this is a good example of a game that was made in a 3d environment it just is not any fun to play you know give me a 2d side scrolling brawler not this jumbled mess and so i know that they, you know at the time that was all the craze where everything was going to 3d but this is a good example that it just doesn't work. You know, it, it's not fun. It's, it's cumbersome. Your character is sluggish, often facing the wrong direction when you're trying to fight and punch enemies. The enemies are stupid. You hear hate clown face over and over and over again from enemies. I can't believe they released a game like this. It should have been killed from the get go. Absolute garbage. I am a Hulk fan and I saw that Eidos did release a game for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn and so I wanted to track it down and and check it out I mean it's it's done by a decent company how bad can it be oh boy what on earth is this garbage loosely based on a comic book series you know this is just really really bad game and so uh, first and foremost you you can't see a lot 
of what's going on on the screen. It kind of loads it as you move around. And so it's a broken 3D environment and boring. You know, you're the Hulk, one of the most powerful superheroes of all time. And you're running around solving puzzles and punching robots in a truly, truly terrible first level. It is uninspiring. It is, it is terrible, horrendous graphics. Just no thought put into level design. It is just a broken mess. It control is fuddly. Oh, it just like it just frustrates me. You have you know one of the greatest superheroes of all time. I love the Hulk, and you know you're you're given this. You're not going to want to play this. You're going to put the controller down after briefly checking it out. This is truly a terrible Saturn game and one of the worst. I love myself some hockey games, and Sega Genesis had some amazing games on it. And so I picked this up. I saw Sega Sports has Marv Albert commentary. You know, I'm sure this is going to be a good sports game. First, you're greeted with some full motion video telling you what you can do, but you can't do it yet. Press a button and then you can choose the selection screens. Oh, just terrible menu design. Then you have long loading. Then you get into the game and it's just an absolute terrible looking mess oh it's just you know of the time period you know sega saturn didn't have the best 3d engine it could they could do good games in 3d this is not one of them and so uh, one of the biggest issues is you have different camera options but none of them are great options and it doesn't make you feel like you're in the game the control is sluggish your your character it, it just just moves around at a sluggish pace. It doesn't have the feel of hockey, uh, you know, uh, shots on the goal or haphazard. I found myself having the best success from taking shots far away and getting lucky and, and scoring a few goals that way. But, but you know, this is just one of the worst hockey games I've ever played. Looking wise, playing wise, the sound is okay. I mean, it, it, you know, with the Sega Saturn CD sound, it definitely has some good audio, but it's not going to save this game. The best and worst part of this game is getting hockey tips and advice. Do you guys ever shoot? Quit looking to make the fancy pass all the time. You can't score if you don't shoot the puck on the net. You know, uh, typically Atlas makes some amazing RPGs, and I saw that they were doing a virtual highlight. I was pretty excited. You know, this game advertised quite a bit, having possible 40 billion worlds because it randomly ger generated each level. And so I really thought that this could be a cool game until I played it. You're greeted at the beginning of the game with some truly terrible full motion video. You know, every game back in the day really tried to incorporate this, especially to say, hey, look, we're next generation. Look, we can have movie quality graphics whatever you know i just you know i think that a lot of the rpg fans back in the day were fans of the hand-drawn artwork and then you got this mess oh ho, ho, boy um your character looks dumb the animation of him running and attacking things is stupid okay i can forgive you know kind of the jankiness of that if the actual game underneath is good the problem is, this is a very much stripped down highlight. There's no towns. You don't even level up. You kind of technically level up after you complete an objective, but it is just an absolute terrible mess of a game. You simply look at your map, find the X, complete the objective, move on. And it just is everything an RPG fan would not want. And I know there's some fans of this game, but it's still a bad game. You know, you can like a bad game. It's all right. I, I have games that are bad and I like, but this this game does not work for me. It, it, is, it is truly an awful example of taking next-gen graphics and trying to do a game and, and breaking new ground and failing miserably. I think this is one of the worst games for the Sega Saturn, especially in the US library. Boy, those were some bad games. What would you pick for bad Sega Saturn games? I wanna hear from you. Comment below with your picks. 
as I might do a follow-up video and pick some of your games for a follow-up video sharing some bad Sega Saturn games. I'm having a ton of fun doing these, going through my library and picking games I normally wouldn't play and just seeing how truly terrible some of these are. You know, uh, you know the Saturn had some classics, but boy did they have some stinkers. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and coming to my channel. If you're new, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.